is almost part two. Uh, again, we're reading from the Holy Cry of Magna. Today is December 7th, 2019, chapter 58, The Fleeting Woman. Section 1 Safeguarding Women's Rights. In the name of Allah, the Beneficent Merciful, Allah indeed has heard the plea of the plea of her who pleads. With thee about her husband and complains to Allah, and Allah hears the contention of both of you. Surely Allah is hearing, seeing. Those of you who put away their wives by calling them their mothers, they are not their mothers. None of their mothers, save those who gave them birth, and they utter indeed a hateful word and a lie, and surely Allah is pardoning, forgiven. And those who put away their wives by calling them their mothers, then go back out. Then go back on that which they said, must free a captive before they touch one another. To this you are exhorted, and Allah is aware of what you do. But he who has not the means should fast for two months successfully before they touch one another. But he who is unable to do so should feed sixty needy ones. That is in order that you may have faith in Allah and his messenger. And these are Allah's limits. And for the disbelievers is a painful chastisement. Surely those who oppose Allah and his messenger will be humbled. And those before them were humbled. And indeed, we have revealed clear messages. And for the disbelievers is an abasing chastisement. On the day when Allah will raise them all together, then inform them of what they did. Allah records it while they forget it. And Allah is witness over all things. Section 2. Secret Councils. Secret Councils Condemned. Seest thou not that Allah knows whatever is in the heavens and whatever is in the earth? There is no secret counsel between thee, but he is the fourth of them, nor between five, but he is the sixth of them, nor between less than that, nor more, nor more but he is with them wheresoever they are. Then he will inform them of what they did on the day of resurrection. Surely Allah is knower of all things. Seest thou not those who are forbidden secret counsels? Then they return to that which they are forbidden. And hold secret counsels for sin and revolt and disobedience to the messenger. And when they come to thee, they greet thee with greeting, with which Allah greets thee not. And say within themselves, Why does not Allah punish us for what we sin? Hell is enough for them. They will burn it, earn it, and evil is the resort. O you who believe, when you confer together in private, give not to each other counsel of sin, revolt, and disobedience to the messenger, but give to each other counsel of goodness and observance of duty, and keep your duty to Allah, to whom you will be gathered together. Secret counsels are only of the devil, and he may cause to grieve those who believe. He can hurt them, not except with Allah's permission. Now on Allah, let the believers rely. O you who believe, when it is said to you, make room in assemblies, make room. Allah will give you ample. But when it is said, rise up, rise up, Allah will exalt those of you who believe, and those who are given knowledge to high ranks. And Allah is aware of what you do. O you who believe, when you consult the messenger, offer something in charity before your consultation. That is better for you and pure. But if you have not the means, then surely Allah is forgiven, merciful. Do you fear that you will not be able to give in charity because of your consultation? So when you do it not, Allah is turned to you mercifully. Keep up prayer and pay the poor rate and obey Allah and his messenger. And Allah is aware of what you do. Section 3. Internal Enemy to be Guarded Against Hast thou not seen those who take for friends the people with whom Allah is wrong? They are neither of you nor of them, and they swear falsely while they know. Allah has prepared for them a severe chastisement. Evil indeed is that which they do. They take shelter under their oaths, so that they turn men from Allah's way. For them is a, a basin chastisement. Of no avail against Allah will be to them their wealth or their children. 
They are the companions of the fire. Therein, they will abide. On the day when uh, on the day when Allah raised them up, they will swear to him that they swear to you, and they think that they have some excuse. Now surely they are the liars. The devil has gained mastery over them, so he has made them forget the remembrance of Allah. They are the devil's party. Now surely the devil's party are the losers. Those who oppose Allah and his messenger, they shall be among the most debased. Allah has written it down. I shall certainly prevail. I am my messengers. Surely Allah is strong, mighty. Thou wilt not find the people who believe in Allah in the latter day, loving those who oppose Allah and his messenger, even though they be their fathers and their sons, or their brothers, or their kinsfolk. These are they into whose hearts he has impressed faith and strengthened them with a spirit from himself. <coughs> and he will cause them to enter gardens wherein flow rivers, abiding therein. Allah is well pleased with them, and they are well pleased with him. These are Allah's party, and I surely it is Allah's party who are the successful. Islam, that was chapter 58 of the Holy Crown of Mecca. Today again is December the 7th, 2019. I am my so Royal Grey Bay, Heba Mars of Morse Sin. And that was me reading for today. So.